Thank you, Maurice, for your wonderful uh, introduction. Uh, my, uh, my dear fellow professionals, uh, yeah, lovely afternoon to you. It's lovely for me because you know, I feel I am in Chennai with this uh, hot, <laughs> this hot summer. Uh, it's easy. I am uh, quite accustomed to this weather. I do not know whether you enjoy it, and then I I am enjoying this weather. Um, I well, I bring to you the greetings from the members of Energy and Fuel Users Association of India. This body uh, is functioning in India with headquarters at Chennai for the last 70 years, almost 70 years, supported by major industrial outfits, organizations, academic institutions, as well as government bodies. Uh, Enfuse, you know, concentrates on the concretion of uh, social values, you know, to try, you know, with, uh, with focusing on energy innovation across the uh, diverse sectors of economy, Indian economy, the industrial, agricultural, uh, domestic, as well as uh, transport. Of course, uh, you know, this, uh, uh, you see this, uh, you, uh, you, you, should, you should be quite, you're quite, you should uh, probably, you're aware, uh, in countries uh, predominantly uh, agricultural country, 40% of our GDP comes from our agricultural operations. Now this, uh, uh, you see this, uh, on the uh, infuse, you know, this, uh, on the, uh, infuse has been, has been associating with WISE, Waterloo Institute of Sustainable Energy, as well as AE4H for the last two years, two or three years, and then I had been had a good, uh, you know, uh, you see this. Uh, I had been the, had the opportunity of interacting with a cross section of the people, and academia like uh, Morris here. Okay, the, uh, in fact, I had uh, we have invited Dr. Jatin and on the the you know in January or February of this year to India, and we had very good interactions with the uh, uh, policy makers. Uh, think tanks and the cross section of the industries um, also in Chennai and other places. Now, this uh, what has uh, the the uh, the uh, topic today, which I would like to interact with you, is based on the experience of the Energy Association of India, with the uh, interacting for several years. Uh, you see, this uh, uh, as I mentioned to you. India is an agricultural country, and uh, you see this, of course, Energy Association, uh, the, the major uh, uh, is the members are from the, uh, from the industries. However, we thought it should, it should be appropriate for us to interact with the uh, villagers, with, uh, with the common people, and based on this, a model has been developed, and then uh, we had been working on that, and then when we started interacting with uh, Vice, uh, you know, we can fine tune, you know, the thinking process. The presentation is uh, going to be based on that. And then, uh, well, to go through the presentation. It's titled as uh, Decoding of Energy Access Puzzle. Uh, you see, this, uh, uh, really, it's a puzzle. You see, energy access, you know, uh, you see, this, uh, we are talking about energy, uh, energy access. Energy access is a major issue uh, the world over. Uh, because you know, there's a, uh, one is a, a energy access is not just making available the electricity. It cannot be measured by the you see the how many uh, how many you know, what is the connectivity levels, how many villages you are connected, how many cities you are connected. Uh, you know it doesn't end there. You know we have to think about you know what is the benefit you know uh, it brings about what is the transformation it brings to the people. Uh, we are going to, you know, uh, find out, uh, you know, the yardsticks uh, during the course of this uh, presentation. Now, the, uh, on the energy access issues, you'll find, uh, you see, there's, uh, you see, the, uh, you see, Dr. Jatin Nathwani has developed a paper, and uh, possibly people, uh, uh, you know, the 
people, uh, academicia who has come over here should be very conversant with that. You see, these, uh, these energy, you know, energy access issues leading to energy poverty can be deadly consequences. We are going to look at uh, the water, the consequences. Uh, and then another issue is approximately 3 billion people who can heat their, uh, 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 heat, who can heat their uh, homes using open fires and simple stoves, burning biomass, wood, animal dung, and crop waste and coal. Uh, this is a very major issue. Out of the total uh, global population of uh, around 7.5 billion, 3 billion people uh, cook and heat their homes even today uh, using open fires. And then, uh, you see, the, what are the consequences? Because of open fires, you know, with, uh, which is full of smoke, you know, these, uh, the health conditions of the housewives gets uh, affected. To start with, to, uh, to uh, keep, the cooking, keep the cooking on, the housewives have got to travel, has got to travel distances. Maybe, you know, there are, it's, it's quite common in the Indian villages, uh, perhaps in the other villages of the other underdeveloped and developing countries uh, in sub-Sahara uh, belt. Uh, you see, these, um, the, the, the ladies, you know, has got to walk, uh, you see, around uh, six to seven hours to collect the, uh, you know, biomass for their cooking. Then, you know, so you will find the active time of the people is being spent, you know, in collecting, uh, you see, the biomass for their cooking needs itself. Then afterwards, when in the cooking process with a lot of smoke and other things, the health conditions, uh, it is estimated uh, 40 billion people, you know, uh, meet, uh, you know, the, or there are fatal uh, consequences because of this uh, adverse, you know, uh, conditions. So uh, uh, we are going to, you know, the, there will be some photographs and other details during the course of the, uh, this presentation. Uh, then the most important thing is energy poverty remains a barrier to economic well-being for such a large proportion of humanity. The, um, uh, that's the one, you know. You see, the, these people, you see, out of, uh, out of the human population of, uh, you know, uh, 7.5, around 3 billion people, uh, you see this, uh, when we are trying to work out things, you know, uh, uh, you see these uh, energy access issues, this is, this is a very major issue. How are we going to tackle uh, the requirements of the 3 billion people out of the 7.5 today? And by the year uh, 2030, it is estimated uh, it is going to uh, be a much higher figure. So on this, and the portals of learning like this, there are a lot of inventions are going on, scientific uh, efforts are going on, uh, uh, renewable energy technologies are fine-tuned, and the solar energy, uh, every day there are going to be, there are inventions, and then uh, there are uh, you know, higher uh, 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 inventions. So also in the areas of uh, you see, ICT technologies, as well as microgrids, a lot of uh, breakthroughs are, have, been, have been made. In a, in a, in a, in a uh, we cannot call India as an um, underdeveloped country, it's a, in a developing country. And then in this also, there are packets in which, in, in which the sophisticated technologies are available or are being used. But what is being talked about is, uh, you see, it is not adequate. There are only uh, packets of development and, uh, and there are uh, other areas of total underdevelopment where people are devoid of all these uh, benefits. This is a, another uh, uh, dark spots are there. So what is being looked at is these, uh, these, uh, these technologies, uh, the fine-tuned technologies, how to take these uh, technologies from the portals uh, of the laboratories, academic institutions, and research institutes to the people, to the common man, is the question. So uh, on this, we are trying to find a, uh, uh, we are trying to find a you know solution, and then uh, uh, the search for it is, is got to continue. The purpose of this presentation is just to trigger the thought process of the academicians, uh, the researchers, uh, you know, to come forward 
to, to come forward to look at the uh, rational, to look at the rational, to go uh, to, for, to do further researches to uh, identify how to take these messages to the common man, to, uh, down to the uh, uh, nooks and corners of this globe. That's the idea. So, uh, 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 Professor uh, uh, Nathwani, unfortunately, he is not here today. Uh, in his paper, he observes technological innovations are not enough on their own because solution must be ultimately be adopted in the cultural context of the way people live their lives. You know, uh, that's the basic uh, statement. Uh, but how to do it, uh, how to do get it done is the problem. Now, uh, coming to the grips of the problem, we'll find uh, decoding energy access uh, challenges, which is a topic of our discussion today. There are three uh, spots. One is the social value of energy. Uh, these, uh, you know, we are going to see, you know, uh, look at what is, what, is, what is this. The next is social energy, energy systems and enterprises, creating the systems in order to handle that. The third is the energy innovation ecosystems. What are those ecosystems? You know, we are going to have a look at that. Then uh, we are trying to develop a small equation for social value of energy equation, you know. The, that's what we are trying to do this. Uh, now, uh, you see, there's a decoding, there's a social value of energy. Uh, you see, when we talk about the social value of the energy, uh, you look at the common man, they don't care, you know, about the theories. You know, there's a, what are the, so, you know, social value uh, uh, is a very big name, you know, for them, you know, when you talk, go and talk with the people. Um, you see, this uh, fundamentally, fundamentally, people don't care about access to green electrons or carbon, natural fuels. They care about what they can do with that energy. Um, basically, uh, what, uh, what is the outcome of it? Uh, you know, after using the energy, what are the benefits they are going to get? You know, uh, that's the major thing. Uh, you see, these uh, benefits in terms of, uh, you know, whether they can have better education, or better health conditions, or can they achieve higher standard of living? So the benefit of energy, you know, uh, is, is the bottle, what people uh, look at that. So the social value of the energy is one of the indicator. Next is the socio-technical systems. How to do, who, how to achieve this is the technical systems, you know, which we create. Whether they, are, whether they are capable of delivering this, uh, 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 delivering these things, you know, uh, we have, what we are talking about, the benefits, you know. For example, suppose, you know, we create, a, uh, we put up power plants. Uh, is it, is, uh, we are, is, uh, we are, let us uh, think about, uh, we are putting up a solar plant in a, in a location, in a village, a remote village. Maybe, you know, uh, maybe we, we will be uh, uh, hooking up a bulb, hooking up a single lamp to some of the whole homes. So, you know, if you stop with that, is it adequate? You see, the, you see the, it's, it's, uh, uh, it becomes only a, a play, uh, you know, play thing, you know, for the people. It is not bringing very, very, very much benefit to the people, common man. How to bring the socio uh, social reformation is the question. Will they bring, you know, better uh, educational uh, is the opportunities for the people? Can we increase the health conditions of the people? Can we improve the economic stature of the people because of this, you know, bringing in uh, 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 electricity to that uh, uh, remotest, remotest corner in the village is the question. So that if you are able to do this, that is the creation of the socio, uh, socio energy, uh, 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 creation of the socio energy enterprise. An enterprise which is capable of creating, creating that uh, is that enterprise which we are looking for. Uh, third is, uh, you know, the uh, uh, energy innovation ecosystems. When we try to operate this, to sustain this, you know, uh, there has got to be very conducive uh, ecosystems. All this can be created by uh, researchers uh, uh, like you, 
Uh, then uh, there, there is the policy makers, the local policy makers, and the government, government policy makers, maybe the equipment uh, manufacturers, then, you know, these uh, uh, the, uh, people at the field, you know, uh, who, who the, uh, the policy makers who are at the field, you know, these people uh, make the difference. We call them, uh, you see, the, as the ecosystem. So with all this, the social value of the energy equation is, uh, the, it, is uh, it is something like this. Uh, you see, it is, uh, you, so it is a summation of the economic benefits. Uh, you know, the economic benefits that, the, uh, 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 that we are able to create, plus other non-economic benefits. What are the other economic, other, uh, you see, the, say when we take energy, you know, say electrical energy to the remotest corner in a village, you see, the, if, uh, if we are able to put up a small industry for them or create a job opportunity for the locals, if the jobs are being done by the locals, then uh, we are creating an economic benefit for the individual. Then the other non-economic benefits uh, is, you know, whether if you are able to create, you know, better, create, bring in better education, better health conditions, or better standard of living, then uh, this is the other non-economic benefits. Now, uh, you see, the, then we have to subtract the cost, burdens, and risks. In the process of achieving this, the cost, what are the costs we are incurring, and what are the burdens, what are social burdens, you know, uh, which, are, which are being created and the risks uh, which are being taken, you know, or environmental risks and other things. Then the minor other, and other, another negative factor is the externalities. That is the social impacts as well as the environmental impacts, etc. So in short, the social value of energy after creation of, you know, taking the energy uh, to the people is, uh, uh, is this. Now, the, the, on the talking about the ecosystem, you know, the, I told you about the ecosystem. Uh, this is the ecosystem, these are the ecosystems. Financial and, uh, ecosystem challenges can be due to this. Uh, one is better we talk about the technological innovations first, then the financial innovations, business model innovations, and policy innovations. These are the challenges uh, to uh, uh, being offered by the ecosystems. Then these, uh, talking about the technological innovations, I uh, see um, the technological innovations like ICT technologies, which are uh, all of you, you know, I need not tell what it is, you are quite aware about them. And then, um, then the, let me talk about, and the financial innovations is, how to create this? I don't know. What is the local financial model, you know, which I, uh, which I create for uh, uh, for setting up the uh, outfit? What is the uh, model we, which I am creating is of uh, great importance, though uh, it may be an innovation, innovative model. Then, the, then uh, so it comes under the business uh, fold of the business model also. Then the policy innovations are uh, through the government, and the government, uh, 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 government can bring in a subsidy or you know, support system. They can give a tax holidays, things like that. They can, uh, you see, this, uh, all those things. This comes, all this is, uh, comes under uh, the ecosystem challenges. So, so uh, this, this is the background. Uh, you see, uh, based on this, we were wondering, you know, our Energy Association of India, uh, we had uh, one of our very active, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, had a secretary, unfortunately, he's passed away. Uh, he's, uh, he was Dr. Mukundan. He's an IIT, Indian Institute of Technology graduate. And then, uh, you see, this, uh, he has uh, uh, worked upon, he, you know, he has worked upon these things, and then, uh, you see, there's a, uh, to identify whether any, poly, any, any model can be created. To fit this, any model is, uh, can be created. See, the, what I'm going to quickly present is uh, this one, you know, yeah, about a cook stove, you know. Uh, you see, this, uh, 
uh, I mentioned to you, there are three billion homes, you know, uh, world over, where the you see this uh, uh, the energy uh, you see the cooking is being done by the only biomass. You see the housewives have got to collect biomass materials. It might be you know the uh, firewood or cow dung or uh, dried leaves, etc. So uh, you see this uh, the. Uh, you see, there's a, so the, we thought whether uh, you see a cooking stove, you know, can be developed. Cook stove can be developed to satisfying all these uh, one and the requirements, which can be put up at the village levels, at the level, and uh, through which we can uh, develop a uh, energy model. You know, was you know we, what uh, you know we, 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 you know we, we, an experiment was created. You see, so a laboratory model was created. Then, you know, this uh, a prototype was created. And then, in fact, a project also has been, been finally been launched three years back. I'd like to quickly share with you what is this about. Now, uh, you see, this, uh, if we, the, the cooking, uh, some uh, uh, climate change, you see, the, the uh, the call for cooking energy solutions, some declared statistics are, uh, number one is climate change. Uh, you see this uh, carbon dioxide, meth methane, nitrous oxide. Apparently 25% of the problem uh, of uh, carbon emissions is caused by stoves, you know, cooking stoves. Then, you know, fourth leading um, Health risk in developing countries is, uh, you know, uh, is because of this. Uh, premature deaths estimated at uh, 4.3 million people each year. Then the third one is uh, deforestations. All these are happening by means of these uh, open fire stoves, had been happening by means of the open fire stoves. So, uh, we, uh, this uh, a cook stove has been developed, Yearn, a, a model of yearn as you cook, you know, uh, this has been, you know, uh, uh, summon substances, this model has been thought about and has been created. And then, uh, and then we are going to see whether it satisfies all the theoretical models which I have discussed with you uh, earlier. So, the, you see, this, uh, this uh, cook stoves, uh, basically, it has been developed uh, with the objective of uh, saving our planet, lifting the people out of poverty, advancing economic growth. These are, only, uh, these are the basic objectives. Uh, the community that has figured out green is going to have the most energy security. Uh, that's what you know, the, uh, we are uh, talking about. Now, the vision is, uh, you see, the creating a, a, a entrepreneur, uh, you see, in all of the, in, in, in the kitchen. Entrepreneur, an artisan, energy artisan at the kitchen is the objective. Now, you know, this, uh, uh, with each stove that burns, it's a family that yearns. The cook stove which has been developed, with the cook stove which has been developed, uh, you see, this, uh, this is what, you know, which is, go which is being, uh, you see, developed. Now, with this cook stove, uh, needs of the power, saving the in fuel cost, saving in fuel, collection cost, indoor air pollution, safety, saves time, better cooking and experience. Uh, better cooking experience. Needs of the planet uh, which are being ha handled is energy conservation, green energy generation, and climate change. Needs of the economy is entrepreneurship, energy model that calls for close co collaboration between producers and local community, and better awareness of the global concerns. These are the uh, things, you know, a, a cook stove has been developed uh, to satisfy all those uh, requirements. Uh, this is a bioenergy strategy. Uh, uh, we, uh, the objective is uh, to uh, uh, have handled the energy challenge, economic challenge, climate challenge, and social challenge. We'll shortly see what, how, they, how, how we are going to do. 
energy um, challenges. You take a country like uh, India. Uh, you see, the the thing is the the housewives, uh, you know, aspire for, looks for, uh, you know, this uh, um, uh, petroleum gases, petroleum gas. Uh, but the thing is, you know, as you know, uh, the country can't afford it. A country which has got only 0.5 percent of their petroleum reserves, and a country which imports. Uh, you know, 70 percent of the petroleum records, uh, uh, you know, petroleum reserves, uh, petroleum requirements, cannot afford to give LPG gas to the homes. So that's uh, one of the things. You know, the, uh, uh, that's one of the problem. We have to see uh, what are the alternates. Uh, then the uh, next one is the climate change. Climate change, you know, quite uh, we are aware. Uh, you see, it is. Uh, by burning, uh, having open fires, uh, that is going. Uh, that is a lot of uh, negative issues are there, and then uh, you see the climate change is going to be handled. Is the next uh, issue in order to be handled? Then economic uh, challenge. Uh, you see, this uh, economic challenges, whether uh, the, uh, for the housewives who spend uh, seven to eight hours in a day collecting the. Uh, material for just for merely the cooking purpose. Uh, you see, the, um, whether some other, uh, you know, whether uh, some uh, economic, uh, you see, the, uh, some means of uh, creating a better livelihood can be created is the next one, you know, we have to handle, next challenge we have to handle. And then, and uh, this is, uh, and uh, on top of it, the social challenge. Uh, this is the one, you know, you see, we have to see, this is a very common, you know, uh, housewives, the housewives going around and collecting the material, you know, this, uh, you see, this, uh, after spending six to eight hours in a day uh, just to cook their food, they have to spend their energy, you know, to do that. They cannot uh, engage themselves in any other activity which can uh, have uh, economic upgradation in their uh, livelihoods. Uh, now, with this, uh, yeah, uh, a quick overview of the model is this uh, gasifier quick stoves, which uh, I'm going to talk to you, uh, show you a little, is uh, it is a certified uh, carbon assets, uh, a new source of green charcoal, green charcoal unique business model. Uh, it has got sociable metrics. Uh, um, and uh, and uh, scalable and replicable. We we will uh, we will have a look at uh, how they are. Now this is the top lift upper draft uh, biomass uh, gasifier cook stove, uh, which uh, you know uh, we are talking about to replace the open fire uh, open fire things you know um, uh, chulas, which the housewives are using. Uh, you see, this uh, predominantly in the, in the village homes, and then uh, uh, you see the, in this one, uh, it's a very simple uh, design: a stove with a canister, when filled with a fuel, uh, biomass waste like uh, twigs, coconut. This also use only the twigs and coconut hex and combustion will enable cooking for an average of 30 minutes, depending on fuel type and produces precious ch charcoal. The most important thing is it uh, produces the charcoal. You see, the, uh, these stoves is it is not only you know, uh, can be used not only for cooking purposes, at the end of the day, it, uh, um, it produces charcoal that uh, makes the uh, difference. Uh, you see, this. Uh, you see, the, the technology is again to talking about the technology. Uh, in, uh, in fact, uh, you see, this, uh, uh, this is a pyrolysis uh, technology, lower cost cooking fuel, a significant saving in biomass material, versatile biomass pos uh, uh, possibility, low maintenance, faster cooking, reduced indoor air pollution. You know, this is a simple model. You know, uh, this is not a 
complicated uh, device or anything, a very simple model. And then um, uh, you see the, with the local artisans, you know, this can be manufactured. You see this and uh, this has been uh, uh, developed. Uh, uh, this is a this is a batch uh, processing stove, and uh, high fire uh, power for certain kinds of dishes requires the uh, usage. You know, on the adverse side, the negative side of this, uh, um, you know, stove is this is only batch processing. This is not uh, continuously used. You know, because it will burn only up to the time when uh, the the biomass material is available. Uh, it is uh, biomass is cannot be fed on continuously, and then um, uh, uh, then high fire power for certain kinds of dishes. It cannot give fire, higher uh, fire. It, the fire fire power cannot be controlled or modified. Requires uh, user education. In the sense, it is not a high technology product. However, for the population for whom you know which uh, which we are giving, it needs uh, you know more education, more training for them. And uh, you see, it is expensive. You see, uh, you'll be, you know, the cost of this material is only around, uh, I should say, 40, 50 Canadian dollars, this one. But it's a very high cost, you know, uh, for the population which I am talking about. You see, this, uh, they cannot just afford these uh, uh, stoves. And then, uh, you see, there's a... Uh, how we are going to, the whole thing is, uh, is it is a uh, uh, whole uh, exercise is to find out how we are going to support the, support the financing of these stoves to millions of homes. And then, uh, and then, uh, and also to take care of the maintenance issues, how to feed the fuels, and then what are the benefits, you know, uh, which we are, uh, which we can get out of them uh, we will uh, we'll see now. Um, you know, as I mentioned to you, after, uh, after uh, putting the biomass and using it for uh, generating heat for cooking, uh, the important thing is high-grade charcoal comes out of it. Uh, you see, uh, uh, this is uh, the, 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 what is the, uh, what uh, conventional charcoal requires in average six kilogram of wood to produce one kilogram of charcoal. Charcoal is being uh, uh, produced even today. Charcoal has got applications in foundries. It has got uh, usage in water treatment and other a lot of applications are there. Charcoal is being manufactured, you know, uh, in, in uh, you see this uh, even today. But uh, today, but, uh, but, uh, but the uniqueness is it is being produced as a byproduct in this process. Now, uh, having a comparison, here, here the, uh, the charcoal yield is high. Better utilization as cooking also takes place during char production. Sorting of quality and sizable char is um, easier in uh, these uh, TLUD stoves. Impact on the environment, sustainability is in positive sense. There is no, uh, uh, you see, the smoke is not, uh, is smoke is, there is no smoke coming out of it. There's a major uh, relief, you know, for the people who are cooking. Uses waste wood for charcoal production. Encourages community participation in charcoal production and drives equal revenue distribution. Uh, in a con conventional charcoal production, uh, yield is low. The heat produced during the charcoal production goes wasted. Sorting of quality, sizable char is uh, cumbersome. And uh, this is most important. Impact on environmental sustainability is greater in the negative sense. You see, the con conventional charcoal production is a, uh, it's a highly, uh, highly negative. All these things are, you know, we, it's at the beginning I was talking to you the social value of, uh, you know, of uh, energy, you know. The social value of energy creation, you know, this, uh, uh, you see, uh, the TLUD stoves, which we, are, uh, we have introduced to the villages now. I will tell you, you know, how we have introduced and what is the process shortly. Uh, we, uh, yes, you know, we are able to 
uh, get away with that problem. Uh, now, uh, uh, talking, uh, talking to you a little technology, it, uh, it, uh, it, is a high, it has got a high calorific value, low sulfur content, high carbon to ash ratio, low inorganic impurities and high surface area. And then, um, uh, and then there, uh, there are analyses have been made, you know, uh, also. Uh, so you'll find uh, the, the it is being uh, it is it is being used not only for cooking, uh, you see, this, uh, but the uh, by, uh, the output product is uh, you know we are able to generate a product. Uh, char, the, the charcoal, which you are going to find, what are the uses we can have out of them? I'll just uh, pass it over this. Uh, you know, this charcoal, you know, which is a byproduct, you know, which is coming out of it, has got you know, 52 uses of uh, biochar. In animal farming, uh, it can be used, uh, you know, and biogas uh, production, it can be used. Soil conditioner, it can be used. Wastewater treatment, uh, as an active carbon filter and uh, additive, it can be used. In the building sector, insulation, yeah, for uh, removing air, air decontaminator, like that, you know, it has got usages. Then uh, soil additive for soil remediation, soil su substances, drinking water. Then uh, you will find, uh, you know, around 52 uses like this. Textiles also, fabric additive for functional underwear thermal insulation, wellness, filling for mattresses, f filling for pillows, like that. You know, this uh, material, this has got uh, so many uh, uses for it, you know, by uh, charcoal. Uh, now, wh what is being done is, uh, these uh, one, you know, uh, uh, TLUD stoves, as I mentioned to you, has been, uh, you see, this uh, fine-tuned, you know, in, uh, in our laboratory, fabricated, and it has been, uh, you see, this, uh, uh, it has been distributed to the villagers. Now, for the villagers, um, you see, they, they can't afford this, uh, you know, buying this material. There is a, a unique financing model has been, you see, worked out. You see, the, uh, yeah, and then through this financing model, they, they, these housewives need not pay for the stoves to start with. What they do is, you see, this, uh, they, they use it for cooking. Then the charcoal they produce, you know, they, uh, which comes out of it, is being, you see, this, uh, is being marketed, you know. Uh, for this, uh, you know, uh, we have found there are 52, uh, at least 52 yen usages are available. Now, this, uh, f by this, a model has been, a sustainable model has been worked out, you know, which uh, by this, what happens is uh, the, uh, the initial cost, you know, which I told you, it, is going, it was, uh, is, uh, works out to uh, 50 Canadian dollars, which the households can't afford. Uh, you see, this out of the char, the, charcoal they produce, you know, the, the charcoal, uh, they get back the money, they, they, they will get back the money in, uh, say, the eight months to one year. Then afterwards, the, uh, the stove is totally free for them. Though a, a, a unique model has been worked out, which we'll quickly see now. Now, uh, there are, uh, one is, uh, the value chains are, the short term is, uh, the, between six to 12 months, a financing structure of the program, depending upon the financial structure of the program. The charcoal collateral, you know, the housewives, uh, for, for, uh, there is a, the, uh, only the housewives have got to declare, uh, the, they will not sell the charcoal elsewhere. And only to the collecting agency, they will give, you know, the collateral arrangement uh, uh, they have to enter in. 
uh, with this, uh, the, uh, the equipment will be given to them and uh, they can get the benefit of, out of it is uh, one of these uh, models. Now, in the, in the medium term, uh, is, uh, is, uh, this uh, tenure is going to be up to 18 months. Charcoal cooperatives, which are essentially community clusters, organized in 500 to 1,000 households. Say the 500 to 1,000 households will be uh, joined together. And these uh, households has got to transfer this charcoal uh, only uh, to the collection agencies. These collection agencies, uh, you see, there's uh, also, you know, there's a, a unique model which has been created is there is a lot of uh, unemployment, uh, educated, uh, semi-educated unemployment in, in, in villages. For them to create an employment, cooperatives have been created. The, the cooperative will supply the, uh, in the, earlier, in the earlier model, the households are going to go around to collect the, you know, uh, you see this, uh, the biomass material. The biomass material will be supplied, you know, collected by this uh, youth, village youth, and then they, they will supply this. this co they are under the cooperative society. They will supply the uh, biomass material. Then the uh, housewives, as they make the char, the char will be collected again by this uh, village youth and will, will be taken to the uh, societies. And then these societies, uh, this is the second model, 500 to 1,000 ho uh, households will be connected together and then they will be uh, functioning uh, uh, under this ambit. In the long term, uh, uh, you see, you will find charcoal micro enterprises, which are essentially economic clusters for women, organized into production clusters to produce value added products around charcoal, such as personal care items, fertilizers, etc. You know, you will find uh, the, uh, these cooperatives. You know, the, these uh, the, in the in the, the in the long term, uh, you see these. Uh, 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 solution to the uh, long-term objective is to create these charcoal micro enterprises. Charcoal, these enterprises who will convert the uh, char, charcoal material to end products. You know they, they will uh, make this, and all this will come under the ambit of the cooperatives, cooperative society, and this is the uh, third model. As a matter of fact. Uh, you see, there's uh, uh, the cluster which we have created, Enfuse has created. The, even the third model has been is uh, is uh, has been uh, put on. Uh, you see, this uh, has been uh, initiated about uh, six months back, and is uh, working very well. Uh, you see. Uh, what the, because of this, what has got is, what would you know, stop using poisonous chemicals, stop burning fossil fuels to reduce the danger of CO2 and feed and feed a world population. You see, we have, we have, we have, we have, we have got rid of the, you know, the smoke, you know, at the, at the um, we have got rid for the uh, the, the smoky situation. Uh, the, that's a major ad advantage. Uh, um, see, and uh, in the longer run, you see, this, uh, there can be a, a self sustenance in the villages. There can be crops which can uh, make this, uh, you know, uh, a biomass material which can be fed into the uh, cook stoves and which can be circulated. You see, that's the long range uh, uh, plan, it's also there. So, we are imagining a situation, dreaming of a situation, industry where to adopt it as a thermal source, clean water industry where to adopt it as a filtering medium, if agriculture were to use it as a, to build the soil. If environment cleaning systems were to use it as a detoxing chemical footprint, uh, you see, uh, this, that would be a wonderful world which we are imagining. 
So, uh, so there's a you know, as while you cook program, this is a, a linkages for a sustainable movement. Uh, um, it is a certified carbon assets. You know, uh, I have to tell you about this. Uh, you see, this, uh, what happens is when the clusters are being created. Uh, you see this, uh, and then this uh, the model which we have uh, finally come. Um, uh, you see this, uh, we have launched now is uh, uh, the uh, when the when the how uh, we, uh, what we are experimenting. We have West, uh, experimented in West Bengal is to a cluster of around 11,000 homes. It needs a you see there's a lot of investment. What has been done is we have induced the corporates. You see, these are corporates have got a social, uh, corporate social responsibilities. I'm sure now it should be um, here also in uh, North America, in Canada also. Corporates out of the, uh, you see, the annual uh, uh, income of, uh, uh, out of the 2% uh, of the annual uh, income has got to be earmarked for uh, uh, societal causes. And then uh, we have induced the uh, corporate to put the, you know, to come forward to, you know, to fund this, uh, you know, this uh, cost of the chulas, cost of the, uh, you know, the uh, chulas for these 11,000 homes. You see, this, um, what they do is this, uh, all these uh, corporates have got the commitments towards, you know, uh, their, uh, you know the bringing down their carbon footprints. And then, uh, so they have got committed for this. And then uh, this, uh, this uh, carbon uh, CO2, uh, um, you see this, uh, out of the, uh, say, the 10,000 homes, the, what is the CO2 reduction they have achieved, you see, has been accumulated together. And then, and uh, through the carbon trading funding, uh, these, uh, these uh, corporates also gets the benefits. But the biggest benefit for the corporates would be uh, uh, their uh, annual reports, they can reflect, you know, their contribution for, uh, you see, this uh, CO2, uh, 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 CO2 emission controls and, their, uh, and bringing down the carbon footprint, the role, you know, they, they can uh, document it and they can uh, create, a, you know, create a better image for the organization. These are the benefit for the organization. So we have put together uh, all these things. One is we have found uh, you see, number one is uh, in, uh, chulas. Uh, you see, this, uh, the chulas, you know, the, the, be the, the benefit of the, you see, this, uh, the, the, the chulas has been taken to the villages, and then uh, the housewives, you know, has, uh, has been uh, uh, got rid of their, uh, um, you see, this uh, requirement to go around and collect the firewood and the other materials. And then there is free time has been created for them to do other works and uh, earn money. And then uh, the third activity is to create a cooperatives and then to take care of the uh, job requirements for the village youth. Then the and creating micro enterprises to sell the uh, products, you know, uh, to sell the products, value added products, and then. Uh, with all this, you know, uh, all this has created a very big loop, and then a corporate chips in, and, uh, and the corporate chips in to funding this program, and then uh, they are also don't do it for uh, just for a charity. They get a lot of benefits out of it, and in fact, by by the CO2 emission trading, they get back a sizable amount of money. Besides this, the biggest benefit for the corporates would be uh, they become. A yeah, good Samaritan, yeah, you know, good partner with the society. In fact, uh, a similar model has been, uh, you know, is uh, being introduced. Uh, you are uh, quite, you're quite aware. Whenever uh, big corporates uh, enter into you, uh, putting up uh, a major industry, it's all the more so in the north, uh, in your uh, uh, situation. Uh, the environmental issues are very much, you know, being talked about, and then they have to. There will be a public hearing, people will be asking questions. What is the benefit uh, you know you you are going to bring in? Are you going to bring in? Uh, are you go going to give a, give us the job? And what are you are you going to uh, provide us the ways and means of improving our living conditions? 
these questions should be posed, you know, for the corporates, and then uh, and uh, and uh, the and a corporate which is not able to satisfy the uh, the community in which they are going to operate, they are not they are not going to succeed. So there is one, you know, the first uh, issue is making the bridges for the corporates with the communities is a very very important. So. Uh, so you, in all, all means, you will find uh, yes, it, is a, it satisfies the requirements of the big corporate when they chip in to do an activity like this. The major funding which is required for such an activity, uh, is a, they bring it in up front. And of course, of course uh, they get paid for it later on. The second one is creation of these micro enterprises at the village level. This gives a lot of uh, job opportunities for the local youth. There's a very, uh, very uh, great thing, you know, for them, because you know there's a creating, uh, creating a job opportunities and human development is also uh, is is very much uh, is uh, is very much required, and uh, this satisfies this. On top of it, what happens is uh, this is the model for uh, you know the we had created. Almost, you know, I had told you, three billion people, uh, three billion people are, are, are doing this, you know, uh, cooking out of the picking up the biomass. We are there. We can create three billion uh, artisans, and then three million uh, out of this uh, three billion artisans who require them, uh, 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 the uh, all these activities, you know, can be created, and then beside this. Jobs, you know, which are very, very important for the, you see, the economic upliftment, upliftment of the people also can be created. So at the end of the day, the basic objective is poverty eradication. You see, you will find, you know, this um, uh, the objective of vice, uh, you see, this uh, affordable energy for humanity is, you see, this uh, eradication of poverty through energy innovation. In a, in a, you know, in a, energy innovation has got to be made in taking the access of access of energy access energy access uh, energy energy access to the people in the process of taking the energy to the people uh, you see this uh, energy innovation has got it should be done in an innovative model and uh, ultimately there should be poverty er eradication recently there had been a workshop international workshop in Arizona in which uh, vice has been a, a partner and then uh, you see these uh, intellectuals and uh, researchers uh, you see these uh, uh, you know worked out you see how to handle this and uh, in fact uh, this uh, paper has been submitted to them and it is, uh, has been well appreciated you see you see uh, this uh, model you may be wondering uh, what is the great thing about this? You know, it is uh, creating a simple cook stove. It's the introduction of a cook stove at the village level. You see, for a developed community, uh, then uh, for a uh, uh, like um, you know, uh, it may look very simple and uh, uh, very 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 ordinary. But the thing is, for you look at the, the uh, as I mentioned to you, there's. Uh, Three billion people, three billion people in the world population. Unless we touch them, and then unless something is being, uh, you know, the science and the innovations, the and then uh, our research and development activities, which is going on globally, uh, if it is not translated into action, uh, you see, the, to the down to the earth, and then if we if we, if we don't take care of the those uh, these uh, downtrodden. Uh, brothers and sisters, our brothers and sisters, ultimately, at the gross level, uh, you see, there's a, we are not going to, the, uh, uh, the globally, we are not going to achieve the, you see, there's a, the, uh, the, you see, the environmental, uh, you see, the you see, uh, betterment, you see, the, which we are looking, looking, uh, looking for. So this, uh, uh, yeah, what has been estimated is around 50, 40 billion dollars are being, uh, you see, this has been, it is estimated, are going to be invested in the coming two decades for, towards, uh, you know, energy transition to have 
uh, they uh, uh, in, uh, to, to, to have the uh, environmental regulations, uh, to enforce the environmental regulations and the eradication uh, environmental regulations. Uh, you see, this, in the process of at, um, achieving these environmental regulations, the question is whether we can, uh, you see, eradicate the poverty level and, uh, and whether the economic uh, this is a condition of the people can also be upgraded is the question and this is a very workable model uh, work, very workable model one th thing is uh, you see in the human endeavor cooking is one of the human endeavors and uh, you see the besides cooking uh, you see there are the 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 human activities or uh, you see the um, multifold you know uh, you see this uh, and then uh, in each of these whether innovation can be uh, brought in is the question. And uh, on this uh, one, uh, you see this uh, again, you know, uh, this uh, 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 Waterloo Institute of Sustainable Energy and its researchers, and then uh, also the other community is, uh, st uh, you know, start, uh, has started thinking. On the other day, this, um, uh, you see this, um, uh, there was uh, 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 um, uh, the question was whether in the other technologies, modern technologies like, you know, uh, we got the solar panels and then uh, you see the generation of solar panels, how to take the solar panels to the homes, how, how to uh, make it, you know, workable with the villages, all these are all questions. Just like, you know, this uh, model, you know, this uh, gasifier has been taken to the villagers. And then it is, uh, and then a, a model has been created, and then uh, we had to work out the other. Uh, you see, these uh, whether these uh, inventions, other inventions, and the technology, uh, and then and scientific uh, uh, inventions can be taken to the people in the same mo in similar models. You know, we had to think about, and then we had to uh, work it out. So these are the steps, and then. Uh, I think you know I would like to complete this, and then uh, there are uh, these things uh, have been uh, uh, brought out in uh, much detail in my slides. I don't want to uh, repeat them out. Uh, I, let me tell you before closing. I will tell you this uh, actual uh, project, you know, which uh, has been handled out. This Sundarban is in West Bengal for the community of cluster of 5,000 uh, uh, people, uh, this is another group of community which has been distributed. Uh, here, energy savings, wouldn't uh, direct impact on the environmental situation in project area, working together with the local community and raising awareness and pressing environmental problems positive climate change, lower CO2 emissions. Uh, we find 87,500 tons of wood saved in seven years, you know, in this project. This project has been running for seven years. Equivalent to a 40, uh, uh, you know, 40, 437 hectares of forest in seven years, you know, have been saved. CO2 savings uh, uh, is 50% uh, of the CO2 savings compared with the conventional stoves. Each stove is saving up to 2.5 tons of CO2. Uh, these are the um, statistics, you know, has been developed, you know. It is, uh, these are all uh, working statistics has been developed in this. Area, in this. So based on this, to sum up, uh, you see, the Waterloo Institute of Sustainable Energy uh, is, uh, is uh, launching uh, in, uh, um, social in, uh, innovation centers, global inventions, uh, innovation centers in five locations. And um, you see this, and uh, Infuse is working on to have this, uh, one of these uh, energy innovation centers uh, located in, in India, uh, in, uh, is uh, mostly in Chennai. Uh, the idea is to, uh, to bring together the think tanks, uh, innovators, as well as uh, 
Okay, of course, the academic research and development institutions to, to bring them under a, under a single umbrella and then make them work together to find out, to work out solutions in other areas also. So this is the one and then with this uh, I should uh, thank you for your patience and I am opening to questioning.